Trip. 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 All of my niggas on X. Then I got my boy Little Little. Y'all know him. Hey, cool kid. Cool kid from the field. Brazil poor dudes. Cool kid on the truth. Hey. Yo. Tell the people where you from in the field. Well, uh, I'm from the west side of Greenville. Uh, why need a buck center? Uh, West side of Greenville, the heart of, you know what I'm saying? Right the surroundings of Sterling, Jetson, West Greenville, Brandon, Woodside. If you're familiar with the West Side, that's where I'm from, from both, so. Hey, you good in everywhere. I'm good in everywhere. All right. Even the district. I'm good in the district. South side, Fort South side, East side, North side, yeah, all side. Cool kid, good hero. And how long you been rapping? Well, I started rapping when I was around 18. But I started to get serious. Maybe four or five years ago. So what made you take it serious? Well, I mean, why the disconnect? I can say I'm a product of my environment and uh, I kind of want to change. You know, we been living the same way for so long. And uh, after a while, you kind of start seeing that maybe this, is, maybe this isn't gonna work or maybe this isn't the only way. So, you know, it's like, try to do something positive. Something, not have kids, so you know what I'm saying? I know they looking at me as like, okay, dad, product of the environment. So, that doesn't mean he has to be. Product. Yeah, so I try to make a change to show them that yeah, you can be Probably better. You know, exactly. You know, lead by example. Now, basically. So that's kind of my motivation for trying to be positive, stay on the positive outlook. It's okay. really the youth, the kids, cool kids, kids. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, my boy rap, but yeah. Yeah. his character, like I can't even, I can't put cool kid in cool words. Kid character. Like, and this is the only black person I know that actually keep up and, and lit like, is obsessed with the, the how do you say it again, anime? Anime. Anime. Yes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know what it personally is, but yeah, like, it's him. So what genre do you consider your music? Is it just regular rap? Like, what you know, where is it going? Okay, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm an 80s baby, what, 80s? So, what I grew up listening to is the same age, I know. Okay, it was motivational at first. You know, Tupac, you know, That's what speaking I meant, I And then it got to more dancey, fun. So, boy, I got you. I'm following. So, my music is kind of like a. It's rap, but it's. It's definitely my my core emotions. So I would say like uh, uh, not an emo rap, but a very emotional state of I'm rapping. Okay. Like, like, when, I'm, when I'm rapping, where I'm coming from, because I don't write. It's it's it's, it's all it's all genius. It's all genius. It's it's how I'm feeling at that moment. In that in that right. It's, it's it. Right then. That's it. That's so, it. Boom. What's your major inspiration? Like, what gets your creative juices flowing? When that, what causes that moment? Um, I don't know. Sometimes you just have vibes to where you might hear a song and it might give you a, oh, I can twist this and make a song like this. Or you might listen to previous music you done made and you might be like, wow. I like my voice sounding like that. Maybe if I try to say this this way, it might work that way. And I go in the studio and I try it. You know what I'm saying? Um, most people I, you know, rap around when I'm in the studio, uh, they, they're very intrigued by the way I do it. 
I'm not gonna compare myself to a Juice World or nothing like that at all. Because that's somebody I look up to. Okay. Juice World. Like, he's really one of the biggest artists I listened to last year. Okay. Mostly Juice World. And, and sometimes Juice World. And I've seen how he created. And that's kind of how I create. I just go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of things that gets me going. You know, I got a lot of things that get my creative, creative juices flowing. But at the same time, it's all fun to me. I try not to make it all business. I try not, I try not to make it so negative. So I don't want to contradict what I'm saying, but. I don't want to make music to where people feel like, oh, uh, whatever he's saying is really bullshit. Yeah, no, sure. I want you to listen and really be like, oh, this is someone speaking from his viewpoint of life. I'm, I'm, I'm normal right, like anybody story. else. Yeah. I have a story just like anybody else. Okay. It might be a little different. It might be hard to understand if you're not from it. But at the end of yeah. the day, where I'm from, they understand it and they respect it. So tell the people about your most recent project, what you're working on, what you got going on, what's up? Okay, okay. That's a good question. Um, okay, I, uh, last year I dropped my first project, uh, self-proclaimed album, you know, I'm all independent. Um, I'm under no label, no contract. Sign me! Um, uh, but um, and that my boy. yeah, I dropped my first piece of work last year, and uh, I'm gonna start shooting more visuals. I've been telling you to this. that. Then I have a, another project. Sorry, already done. Okay. I, actually, what's interesting is I have two projects done already, but I'm gonna start doing visuals. Last to go with them. For my last project. So, you finna get that one first. Visuals from my last project. Cool Kid from Cool World. Check it out. Apple Music, iTunes, whatever, wherever you want to look. It's everywhere. All cool platforms. Kid from Cool World. All platforms. Check it out. It's very different. If you want to hear a new sound, a new way of thinking about rapping itself, go check it out. Cool Kid from Cool World. But, uh, um, like I said, I'm gonna shoot a couple videos and then I'm gonna work on Cool Kid for Cool World 2. Okay. And uh, my third one, um, which is gonna be, it's gonna be real heartfelt because recently I had a yeah. real close friend of mine, more like a brother, pass. In a very dramatic way, but uh, I think I want to devote yeah. a tape to him. Rest in peace, crazy. Crazy. If anybody know, definitely. Long live crazy. Crazy fell. Fell for crazy. Definitely. Fell crazy. But uh, um, and that's probably gonna be my third project. But for right now, we're gonna just focus on visuals, more visuals, more videos. People haven't really seen me lately. They've really been getting a lot of like all visuals, all new content. Yeah. But it can still be the old feel because a lot of people they have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of it's still gonna be new to you over me. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much. Nice. That's the next project. Yeah. Now I know you gave a lot of credit to the Yes. Yes. What's your top oh, three artists? Top three. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you something because a lot of people ask me this. I don't really have a rank of one, two, three. I have like a three all in one. Like what? It's like my three favorite number one. Or okay, like so you got five. three people, but they all number yeah, one. Yeah, it is like it's like four or five. But okay. they all like my number one. I got you. I got okay, you. I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna start out 
with the goat, and that's future. Just because I like fun, I like that. That's kind of the type of music. That, that fun, upbeat, upbeat, prescription, lingo music. Um, next, Travis Scott. That's why I can't rank them. Like my same, like, like, love them. I well, understand. Uh, future, Travis Scott. Then I would say, uh, Uzi. 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 I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been fucking with him for years. And people were like, who is this dude? I'm riding around. I already listened to him. And another they're like, word. They're like, cut it off. Like, we're tired of listening to this. What like, is he now, saying? Look, look how great he is now. Uh, Juice World. Okay. Uh, one more. One more, one more. Who, who was on that picture? I just had it on my phone. That was Future Travis Scott. Oh, wait, just give me a second. Sorry, a little hot. This is why I love him. Fun fact, y'all, I was actually on one of his previous visuals. Um, I got yep. the juice. Yep. Me and a... She, she's in one of my videos. No, that person. Yep. She's definitely... Uh, they don't judge me because I wasn't prepared. I was definitely not no video girl. It was just like, we pulling up, what you doing, and boom, stand here, do this. So don't judge me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm 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 throw him in there. And he's not just a rapper. It's kind of- What are you about to say? The Weeknd. Shout out the whole EXO. I would not expect that from you. Oh, what? Character. Now. I'm telling you. Oh, oh. Hey, shout out EXO, what they doing? OVO, Drizzy. Shut up. Stupendous. Shut up, yeah. Yeah, shout out Canada. Canada. Put it on. Hey, yo. I got my girl to drink right in here today. Um, it's a little switch up for the come up, but she's actually an entrepreneur. She's a jack of all trades. Now, I know for a fact that she sells cars and she's an actress, but tell the people what else you do. Well, thank you first for having me. No I problem. appreciate that. That's no. I've known you for years, right? Now? Alright. <laughs> but uh, basically, you know, I'm I started my company with Rico Rap Productions like eight years ago. Okay. So with that, we do shows, movies, plays. Uh, artists, we manage artists, you know, like artists, yeah, okay. yeah, actors, you know what I'm saying, we, we just, everything. everything, you know what I'm saying, so, just be doing a lot of things so that, you know, I can give everybody a chance to get on right. stage, get in, get in front of the big screens, you yeah. know, and then we do the, uh, the car sales, you know, buy, sell, all that stuff, you need a car, I got you, I'll hit me up, now, I got you on the cars, if you need a house, you need a house built, I'll let you go, um, we much just do everything we can to make something happen. Yeah. Jack, like I said, Jack of all trades. So with everything that's going on in the world today and our community, I do have to give props to my girl because, like I said, I've known her for years. And she's actually been a victim of gun violence, and I've seen her change her life around. I mean, how did that affect you? Well, you know what I'm saying? It's seven years survival, you know what I'm saying? Um, basically, we... When I got shot, I, I forgot how to walk. Like, I became paralyzed. I didn't know how to walk. And one minute you walking, next minute you down. That's just weird. But getting getting shot is not a fun experience. It's very painful. You feel like fire in your body. That's what I heard. The recovery part, that's that's even harder. Especially if you don't know how to walk. Because you, you're going through... Uh, a lot of things in your mind where you're trying to like try to just get it right you feel me yeah <laughs> so i just i guess basically my life changed in a blink of an eye because you know i was i mean i was in the streets you know doing what people do but um 
that changed me because at that moment I realized I, I almost died. You know, even the doctor said it. They said that you almost died. Like even till today, I live with the book. It was right here, wow. and you know, you still feel pain trying to walk and all that stuff. But I be trying to tell people, you know, the streets ain't where it's at. People think, oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and get some money. Yo, that's all cool. But when you get killed, when you get shot, when you get sent to prison, it's not where it's all at. These ladies out here, you know, they they, they want to get the money for the boys and stuff. Like that's not where it's at. You know what I'm saying? You just you gotta get out here and you gotta work hard. You gotta put God first, faith, and you can make it happen. I mean, I did a 360. Anybody truly know me? You, you remember me. Yeah, that's why I said I've known her for years and I've seen both years. sides. Both sides. Yeah. These are the type of people I like to be around because they know the real for drinking. You know what I'm saying? They know drinking. So I try to just tell people change is so much better. I promise you. You change your life, your whole life will just open up to so many different avenues. I never thought I'd be where I am today. No. You weren't selling cars back then? Hell no, I didn't know what selling cars was. Or houses. None of that. No. I wasn't doing none of that. So They opened new doors. Mm -hmm. yeah. They opened new doors. So, you know, my, my advice to people out here with this gun violence and everything, change your life. That's all you got to do. Change your life. Pick up. I, this is exactly what I did. I was in my wheelchair, living at my mama's house because she had to take care of me because I was messed up. I picked up that pen and that pad and I started writing. That's when you start writing. See, that was my next question. What was your inspiration? Okay. So that's when you start writing your plays and your movies. That's when I start writing my plays, my movies, my shows, everything. My very first show was with uh, Diamond from Crime Mob, the Sheen magazine. That's okay. the very first one I put that's together. Okay. And that's when I was back walking. That was the best feeling in the world. Club Aquarius, I'll never forget. So you know what I'm saying? It took off from now. You know what I'm saying? I started meeting celebrities, all types of people. And that's all because I changed my life. You got to find a new environment. You got to change your life. So I'm pretty sure that you were into acting and stuff prior to the shooting. How many years have you been doing it and how did you get started? So I started acting when I was five. Oh wow. Yeah, the first, my first gig was a hot spot commercial. And, um, the gas station? Yeah, the gas station. Oh. And then after that, um, I was in the children's theater. Okay. And then my mom was like, we need to put you in something else. Yeah. So she found the field to the repertory theater. Okay. And I auditioned for them. And I was up under the White Woods. And they taught me pretty much everything else I needed to know. And I took off from there. Okay, so you've been doing it since baby, baby. Yeah. That's what's up. What I want us to understand as a community and to teach to our youth is about credit. Credit. Okay guys? Um, like I said, my girl sells cars. So she's about to tell us how to get a car. Like she has cash cars too. Don't get me wrong, you can't afford no payment, get you a cash car, baby. And I'm wrong with that. But she's also gonna give us a look, a couple of facts about credit. Let me know something. Alright, so when you're purchasing a vehicle, um, your credit is going to be ranked if you're purchasing a vehicle from like a dealership, um, you know, any place like that. And basically, they do look at your credit. They look at your credit score to see like how many repossessions you may have. Um, they look at it to see if you owe any loans. So always just be aware of what you owe somebody else so you don't bump into it. Now the good thing about it is this. Let's say if you do have two or three repossessions, I can get you in another field. How? Because I can. So you mean tell me I ain't paid my bill, but you're going to get me in the car? Yeah. You ain't paid your bill, I'm going to get you in the car. But but the good part about me doing that is this. It's going to build your credit. And like I said, it's all about credit, y'all. Yeah. So what's another easy way for us to build our credit? Another easy way to get you a little credit card. Your card or yeah. regular card? Like a secure card, you just put money on it, you just keep paying on it, pay yourself back. That helps build your credit too. I have heard that. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Um, even if you do want to reach out to some people that do credit, you know. Do you have a um, 
contact you would like to share with people? Anybody in your network specifically? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I don't. I can't tell you the name. Off the, I'm sorry. I can't tell you the phone number off the top. But her name is Miss Tisa Sullivan, and uh, she's on Facebook. T I C A Sullivan. S U L L I V A N. So this week's video is gonna be for my boy. Tell me what video it is. Okay, we're gonna hit y'all with uh cool. With a K. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then we connect it like charter. Cool, cool, cool. Sip on that lean like water. Cool, Ay! Cool, cool, cool. Driven that soft, no tartar. No. Hold up. I might smash on your daughter. Oh! <gasps> Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, go shit, yeah. Yo. <laughs> it's cool, Shy, kid. Hey, cool world. Yeah, shit, cool, ooh, ooh. cool girl. Yeah, cool she's world. Cool, yeah, gonna do like charter. Cool, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sip on that lean like water. Cool, ooh, ooh, ooh. Dripping that sauce, no tartar. Cool, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. Body smash on your daughter. Cool, ooh, yeah. ooh, yeah. ooh. Yeah, we gonna do like charter. Cool, ooh, ooh. Sipping that lean like water. Cool, ooh, ooh, yeah. Dripping that sauce, no tartar. Cool, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. Body smash on your daughter. Cool, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. ooh, Yeah, it's cool, kid. From a cool, cool world. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Ride around in the two, though. Cool. With a cool girl. Cool, cool. cool whip. Hey. Cool shit. Only. Cool only. Niggas know you a phony. Yeah, yeah you fucking baloney. Fake. Cool Fake. shit only. Yeah. Thought you knew about that. Cool world order. Yeah, yeah I got them packs. Okay. Yeah, we got that sauce. That sauce. They wipe that drip, wipe me, you been see me walk by, yeah, I give up till fuck, ooh, sippin' lean, no lift, go, bad wood, no swift, sure. niggas know how I get, right, if you know when I'm lean, man, niggas know my team, man, made it out, made it in, now I'm riding around in the bin, yeah, they come to like charter, cool, ooh, 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 sippin' that lean like water, cool, ooh, 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 